Hi, this is Doug McIsaac with OnlineForOffline.com and McIsaacVentures.com. We're going to be talking about a campaign I did with a client of mine, Alpha Graphics in Billings, Montana. This is a, their direct hit campaign. I was one of the team members on this. I didn't do any of the graphics. I just worked with them while we were running through this campaign. But it was an award-winning campaign from PODI, the Print on Demand Institute. We just got awarded it here in uh, January of 2008. This campaign was a multi-touch campaign. We had four touches total, and we had an amazing response. We'll go ahead and show you what we did with each piece and what made it unique. We started by, well, they were introducing personalized URLs, where not only are you personalizing a print piece of someone's name, which everyone is familiar with, just an address field, but we're using the person's name throughout a printed direct mail piece, and we're adding a personalized URL. We're at the bottom, you'll notice George Lane, georgelane.onlineforoffline.com or Steve Jobs at uh, stevejobs.myipod.com. Now that would be their own personal page. When they go to that page, it they go there and it will say, hi George, or hi Steve, and we'll start the conversation, the personalized conversation there. Really great technology. On the web we do this all the time, but tying this into direct mail is really what makes it powerful. And let's go into this campaign, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Our first touch was just a postcard. Um, we had uh, several different points of variable where it says your name. We had the person's name reaches the audience with direct hit. Up above we had the address and then we had their name listed here as well. And we only we mailed 437 pieces. It was to a very targeted list. Uh, that's the thing about this campaign. It was ridiculous response rate. Uh, it was a targeted list. We picked out uh, the top clients for Alpha Graphics. But from the first touch, we got a, we 33 responded, which is a 7.55% response rate, which that's very respectable, even with a targeted list like this, very respectable. Kind of caught people's attention with something different. Uh, some issues we had with this piece of it was they didn't really notice that it came from Alpha Graphics. The direct hit was brand new to them, and they saw that, and they just thought it was another piece. We had actually got clients that had didn't remember seeing this postcard. So the second mail-in, which we only sent to non-responders, we mailed only 404 pieces. We got 57 people responded to this for a 13.04% response rate just on this touch. Now we notice we did a little bit different uh, picture, same concept, same name. We brought the alpha graphics up a little bit so it was a little bit easier to read. And we printed, mailed this one in an envelope with alpha graphics on the outside. So it definitely got opened up by their clients. And we made the personalized URL larger here as well. Once again, 13.04% response rate. That's, we're beginning to get off the charts, but it gets better. The third mailing, we mailed 437 pieces. We got 72 people responded for 16.48% response rate. Now, everybody received one of these four tins. If you had gone online, you would have been asked a question about what type of music you liked. And based on how you answer that question, if it was classic rock, you got the classic rock label. If it was country, you got the country label. Or if it was top 40, you got the top 40 label. If you had not, sorry, top 40 labels here. <laughs> if you had not responded, you just get this one here. And inside of that, we had a note saying, Keith, you know, with the person's name from Keith, the owner of the local Alpha Graphics, asking them to go online and check things out. That did help uh, our response rate. Also inside the tin, we had a chocolate CD that was either white, dark, or milk chocolate. That was also one of the questions we asked, was what type of chocolate you liked. And inside the tin, we had that type of chocolate that they requested. Really blew people's minds with that. I, <laughs> to be honest, on the people that hadn't gone online, I said we should have put a note in there saying this would have had chocolate in here. But uh, I was vetoed on that. It was a little bit too aggressive. Um, the final piece was, we called it the daily variable. And this is all tying in to the, the type of music they had. We've got their name in this little article several times. What uh, TV shows they liked and what movies they liked. Those are the three questions we asked in the campaign. And this pulled it all together, all the pieces. We s delivered this in a tube. And we've had, I can't tell you how many 
calls we've had from people wanting to know where we got the tubes so that they could do mailings in the tubes. Very, very popular. Now, here's here are the results kind of lined out for you. We mailed 437 pieces to a targeted list. We got an overall 162 people responded with a 37.07% response rate, it, which is an off-the-charts response rate. We ended up scheduling somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 40, 35 to 40 client uh, meetings after this, and we ended up scheduling eight client campaigns just within the first 60 days of the campaign, and we ended up scheduling, I think, about 12 or 15 altogether, plus we got a lot more variable work from clients, even for the ones that weren't doing the personalized URLs, which really added up to a nice, nice, um, these campaigns averaged eight to 10,000 apiece, so I mean very much a great uh, return on investment for us. Whereas the campaign cost, uh, I'll have to get the numbers, about $4,000 I think altogether. And these are all the pieces here, are the two CDs, that's a white chocolate CD, and that's a milk chocolate CD, and that is the tube. That was the campaign that we did with Alpha Graphics for their direct hit. Really, really a fun campaign, really well received. This is an off the charts response on this campaign. Thank you very much.